I would like to show off the final version of my IKFK master plugin, uh, which manages IKFK setups. Uh, and here it is. Um, let's just get started. So, plugin looks like this. It's changed a little bit since the last video. There are more stuff. Uh, there is. Uh, I'll go through the new features one by one. So, the first time I'm going to take it, I will get rid of it. There you go. Just to show you what happens, what the rig looks like without it, and what happens when you add it. So, here's the rig without it. As you can see, there's IK stuff, um, and there's FK stuff, the bones themselves. If I apply the plugin, Anything that's not currently controlling the rig disappears. So you see, um, for example, IK hand, IK fingers on this side, and on the other side, FK bone fingers, because on this side IK is on, on that side FK is on. You can easily switch between them, just like before. <clears throat> and all that works as expected. So. Now, here's what the plugin does that it didn't do before. This is the main thing here, warn. One of the things you might have remembered in the last video I made with this was I managed to accidentally add some jumps to the animation. Now that was because I made some changes and I forgot to key them or I forgot to switch. Uh, because there's a lot of stuff going on when you when you have pose matching going on. You need to make sure to sync the rig. So, if you activate the warning, if you notice you get a little yellow outline here and a big yellow outline here, anytime you make a change and you try and move the playhead, it'll check to see if you've made any changes. And right now it tells me that I got six chains of unsync changes. Don't forget to sync my IKFK. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll sync my IKFK. There I go, it's synced. Now it'll let me move perfectly. Now, I synced it, but maybe I don't want to sync it because look, the FK movement on the fingers is not very good, or IK movement on the fingers is not very good, so let's go ahead and make that FK instead. So I'll just switch it instead. Yeah, that's nice. Now it moves nicely. So that's the main that's the main change is the warning function and it's really pretty important for a plugin like this. Now you can choose how much you want how much of a warning you want. You can you can pick or you can choose to have a warning on. You can have you can have a warning on or you can turn it off. If you turn it off. It's like it was before. You you're it's up to you to sync everything. Uh, the other addition of course is the sync function. Now in the prior version it would only ever match up the chain that you had selected. In this version, it'll match up either the chain you have selected, if you have matched chain, or it won't match anything, which is sometimes useful, or it'll match the entire pose for the entire character, uh, which is also very useful, useful. So for example, if I go ahead and put a keyframe over here and do something with this arm, well, obviously I won't do anything there because I had that selected on that frame, and now it's not active. Activated. It's not. It's not controlling anything. So, if I deselect it, it'll disappear. And it's gone. So, let's do, make some changes here. <laughs> Look, his IK finger. Twiddle, twiddle, twiddle. So let's make a little change there with that. Um, maybe bring down. There we go. <clears throat> now, if you notice here, there's no keyframes there. Now I've got match pose here, which means it'll match the entire character. So if I sync the IK and FK, boop, it's going to key the entire character. So you get keyframes here, keyframes here, keyframes here. But on the other hand, let's say if I go here, do the same thing, do a keyframe, do a keyframe. So now set it up to match chain instead, sync the IK FK. 
no keyframe there. It only keyed the actual chain I was working on. Everything else is still like it was. Now, which one you choose depends on a lot on what you're moving around. Like, for example, if I grab the center of this guy, and let's make that also IK, so so we we know. All right, so let's say that's good. Let's move to frame seven. So now let's move his base. Now you see, move the base around. Now, as you can imagine, this affects a lot of chains. It affects both of his legs and the finger. So if I just sync the chain itself, like that chain itself, it's only going to sync that chain. We'll have real problems. So I'll show you. Sync that chain. And do, and do like, let's say, a, uh, uh, well, it's, it's actually turn off matching and switch the IK and FK so you can see what happens with that leg. See those aren't synced. So if I go ahead and match pose instead, now it's all synced. So that's the main issue, that's the main thing. Uh, it's a much more stable plugin, much more usable. And um, yeah. Uh, I'm sharing this plugin for free. You can find it on my website, which I put here. You can find a bunch of cool stuff here, including the IKFJ Master Stripped. Uh, there are full instructions on how to use it, and also instructions on how to set it up. Pretty detailed instructions on setting it up. <coughs> But you don't have to do all that to set it up. I've made a maker tool that puts together IKFK chains that are perfect for IKFK Master. And I'm going to share that in the next video.